guys, welcome back to the channel. This is a walkthrough on van two. Um, it is a 170 Mercedes Sprinter, rear wheel drive, inline four cylinder turbo diesel. Gets great gas mileage, by the way, since we're paying out the freaking wazoo for gas. Um, it has new vision wheels with 265, 70, 17 uh, BF Goodrich KO2 tires. We did the black matte um, wrap on the bottom to get rid of the white just under the uh, factory black trim there. We also did the hood as you'll see when we walk around. Up top we've got some, oh I think those are your typical aluminum bolt down type uh, rack. Um, 80 20 is what I was looking for, sorry I'm brain dead this morning. Um, we've got the RTX 2000 Dometic air conditioner in there. Keeps everything nice and cool with enough battery power to run that thing for 12 hours straight. We've got just under 400 watts of uh, solar on the roof. It's 380 actually. And an additional um, vent fan, Dometic vent fan. So let's take a walk around. We're using CR Lawrence vent windows. We've got three of them on this van, one on the door, one on this side, one on the other side, and then we have, we installed the rear windows as well. Twice on one, actually. If you've watched the channel, you might have seen another video where this window just exploded for no reason. Nobody was anywhere around the van, and the kid didn't want to be guilty, so uh, we had to take the old one off and put a new one on. Anyway, as you can see, we've got our bamboo trim all the way around. We have your exterior shower water fill, additional storage underneath with your outdoor shower. We have a 12-volt uh, adapter right here. We also have a 110 outlet just on the other side of the seat here, so in case you wanted to plug something in and use it back here. Um, you know, all your bamboo trims out back. That's about it really, nothing special. I love the fabric on the, uh, the cushions, but you'll see that when we get inside. Another CR Lawrence window here. What I really like about these windows is they're vents, so you can open them up while it's raining and you don't get any water inside and you still get that airflow. Tram around the bottom, we've got our steps. Uh, not much other, I mean, the van is pretty much um, stock in that regard, other than, you know, we added some, some things to it with the wheels and tires and the black mat wrap. Had, uh, we had two warranty issues that we had to take it back to the dealership to get fixed and as we were going there we, we collected a couple of rocks on the windshield for whatever reason so we got a brand new windshield. All right right here in the entry obviously we have our step that runs for both the uh, passenger side and the main cabin. You've got a 110 outlet here just around the corner inside you do have some 12 volt. Obviously your sink which can be used as a Woo! Another shower right here. I just dropped water on my head. <laughs> um, you've got a filter system here for clean water. Just inside you can see that we've got the two chairs and the lagoon table set up. So you can uh, eat in there or eat at your big table inside. Right behind this door we have our five gallon cassette pull out toilet. And it does hold water. You fill the water here. You have a water meter right here, which shows you it's half full currently. And of course you have your full size stand up shower. I'll show you. You do have the Nautilus self cleaning door. And then you have the toilet built into the shower. Up here we have additional storage. Um, so you got a pretty good size storage up here. And then of course down here you have the curtains that go all the way around so you can actually have these tucked behind the seats and still utilize the van while you're in night mode. Um, it's pretty much a stock um, Mercedes here. Let's see if we make our way down this side we have all of our components. So this is your S-Bar um, heater. It is mounted underneath the passenger seat and this is your WeBoost. This is your your card for the WeBoost, so you just peel this off when you when you buy it. Um, so WeBoost, then you've got your Victron 
3000 watt inverter charger controls here. Um, we do have a 30 amp um, outlet in the back hidden underneath and I can show you that as well. Um, obviously your Victron uh, battery monitor. You've got a 10 gallon gray water tank for the sink. You have a 32 uh, clean water tank underneath the driver's side rear um, seat. And then you have another 10 gallon gray water tank for the shower alone. So all of these have electronic valve dumps so you can empty it all out whenever you want. Um, obviously we got a pretty good size sink here. We have a two burner induction cooktop, uh, 1800 watts. You've got two USB plugs here, two 110. Uh, this is for all of your under counter lighting throughout the van. Excuse me, under cabinet lighting. Uh, this is for your water pump. This is for your hot water heater so that you only turn it on for a certain period of time because it draws that does draw some amperage. Um, we have a built-in microwave convection oven. Plenty of storage up along and around the top. And as you can see, we have the big dinette slash uh, bedroom set. We have three inch high density foam cushions with a one inch memory foam, cool memory foam on top of those. These two seat cushions here form the rest of the bed. We do have separate legs for this that are underneath uh, the cushion in storage. And you just drop this down to bed size and uh, it turns around and fills the space much better. And then you use the two back cushions to fill in that, that space. Um, Let's see here, anything else in the back? Uh, you do have your air conditioner right here. You have an additional uh, 12 volt outlet right up on top here. So in the event you wanted to put one of those pop can movie theaters and hang a screen from the back, you could watch a big screen movie while you're laying in bed. Over there we have your uh, Max Air uh, remote control. You've got a remote control for all your lighting. Uh, you do have additional 12 volt and 110 over there. I kind of call this the coffee bar area um, Our drawers are pretty good as far as oh, we got a lot of stuff for you We'll go over with you, but they come all the way out so you can utilize the entire drawer and This one is a real deep one They're the same size across the way except they are much larger on this side So they will hold a ton of stuff um, we have a nice little vanity, or not vanity, I'm sorry, a closet. And it has its own separate light. So you can see what you're looking for. And then down below that, we have a 12 volt refrigerator, 4.2 cubic feet with a small freezer on top. You can fit pint ice cream, that's all you need. Um, the shower has its own light as well. It's kind of bright out here, so you really don't see it, but it is up there. And of course you have the Max Air fan uh, with remote. Let's see, what else can we cover in here? All of your electronics are under the passenger side. Uh, you have 400 amp hours of uh, life PO4 batteries, lithium batteries. Um, you've got the 1212 Victron charger from the van to the back, which will charge your batteries when you're driving. You've got the MPPT uh, Victron solar charger, which obviously will charge from the solar panels and the uh, 3000 watt inverter is back there as well uh, there is some pretty good storage on this portion uh, underneath the seat for blankets sheets whatever you want to do there unfortunately on this side the 32 gallon water tank takes up all the space there's a little bit of storage between the tank and the front of the cabinet here which is where we put those uh, leg posts and then you do have a uh, Bosch hot water heater in the back um, when you turn it on, it's hot in 10 minutes, so it heats up really quick. Uh, there is a tiny bit of storage in the back over there for like maybe hose or extension cords, things like that that you want to want to store back there. Uh, and then of course you have the storage cabinet in the middle accessible from the back. Um, I think that's about it. The insulation in this van is the Havelock wool. If you were watching the channel, you saw us building it. Uh, so it's Havelock wool on all the sides two layers in the ceiling, two layers where we could in the side, and then there's a single layer underneath uh, the floor, so you've got R7 flooring insulation as well. Let's see, um, this van is for sale, it's ready to go, so give us a call, drop us a line, and we'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. Thanks for watching.